and after four weeks in India, I'm finally stepping off the beaten track. It's been one long motorway the entire way to Pune, which is about an hour drive along that road now. And this road doesn't feel quite like a country road yet, but it's supposed to lead us to a farm where I'm going to be staying for a week. So not sure what to make of it. Maybe I won't enjoy it. Maybe I'll head sooner. But I hear there are horses and it would be nice to spend some time with animals, with some plants and with a bit of a home, you know? It's been a long time traveling, so fingers crossed it's, it's a good one. That's more like it. That's the place, I believe. Lady? Hmm. So she learned natural horsemanship in Pondicherry? It was a very peaceful stay in the farmhouse project in rural Pune with animals around, lots of sunshine, lots of stretching and some wonderful people including a very talented musician who seemed to be a karaoke machine could produce any song you asked of it. We just chilled pretty much for a week of eating local food and meeting local people with one particular interesting day where we ventured out into the local temple. So you go down while you end up as well. There have been a few doors like that actually in Jerusalem there were a few of the churches yet. So you have to, yeah. Really? So that's one thing. Don't forget. Hey. Oh, and this is it. Bye, pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Okay, good morning from the edge of Pune. I was unfortunately hoping to sleep in a hotel tonight, this one right here actually. I'd even had a booking but they, they just said no, I can't stay because I'm a foreigner. <laughs> so I ended up in the forest. Not the end of the world, I slept decently, pretty patchy, very busy road here. And quite a few people walking through actually every now and then. Uh, a few little pigs as well, which were very calm and gentle but yeah, not the best of sleep. Plan is to head to Goa. I was hoping to have a bit of rest and recovery before I continued, but yeah, I've been kind of put on the road, so may as well continue this way when the sun rises a bit more. And let the day begin, okay. Sai, Sai Baba. Sai Baba. Sai Baba. Sai Baba. Sai Baba. God. Gotcha. Well, lucky me, eh? Very first car I asked. One little hand and bang, straight away. He's taking me 200 kilometers and stopping for food. This is very good. I've, I've had similar, but never this. Hey, this is delicious. Is there food to buy it? Yeah, so ended up in the village of my of my driver and yeah, I think I'm an alien again. All these people are very excited to see me. Very calm and relaxed and friendly, but but yeah, they've never never seen a tourist like me before, I think. Uh, we, have, we have another another photo of the owner, this guy's actual tea shop. That there is a madness. Box of goodies and a driver to take me to the next city in his car. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a joy. I'm I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Ooh. And there they go, drop me off right in this temple, which I'm guessing is going to be like in New Delhi where I can't bring my stuff in, uh, but we'll see, yeah, didn't have a choice in the matter, they took me straight here, so it continues. <laughs>
crazy temple, that one. I've never seen anything like it. It's the dark stone the other guys were talking about. And these two guys are just saying that on, on November something, yes. then the sun rises and lands directly at the feet of some of those deities in there. It's strange, you know, you just walk past black everywhere and then little pockets of color where the, where the gods are like kind of nestled and people go and touch the ground. It's, I've been given this stuff as well, which I don't really know what to make of. I've got rice, turmeric, some sweets and some flowers. And yeah, it's kind of crazy. Took took to get to the edge of the city. It's only uh, a three kilometer walk, eight minute drive, so yeah, just gonna blast it out and then get back to the hitchhike. Literally three cars maybe, three seconds and yeah, stop straight away. This is insanely easy. There it goes, short ride, and I feel a little bit guilty that I'm giving away some of these chocolates that the kind people before gave me, but it is nice as well just to give a little thank you. I might have to start doing that in the future, carry some little token, uh, because they, they are very happy for them. Yeah, I've lucked out today, it's just been a slipstream again, but maybe two minutes waiting and the lovely Lakshman stopped for me. Driving all the way to Goa in one, one fell swoop. So it's gonna be from Pune to Goa in one day. Right, so a bit of miscommunication there. He's actually not going to go until later today. So about two hours more and he's gonna go. Uh, but he's meeting a colleague first and he's pretty insistent. I just continue on this road, which is unfortunate because I'm now kind of in the middle of nowhere. He says the cars here are going to Goa, but I'm pretty sure the main road would have been a smoother sail for the hitchhike. I'll be keeping my eyes out for any actual looking tourist vehicles, you know, hopefully there will be someone driving this way and hopefully can still get this day. Ah. <laughs> yeah, kind of insane. These guys have been driving from Pune today all the way to Goa. So yeah, it was, it was meant to be, but they are actually taking me the whole way, whole way there. There you have it, welcome to Goa. Bit of a shock to see so many Europeans here. I've got to get myself out of the habit of saying hello to all the white people I see, which is a bit racist, I guess, but there's so few and far between so far that yeah, I can't keep, can't keep smiling and waving at everyone. Thanks to a tip off from the guys I got a lift here with, I've ended up in this place for 500 rupees, five pounds a night. I mean, look at it, personal beach hut. It's even got a mosquito net and bathroom. Like, what can you ask for more? Right on the beachfront, you know, you walk out straight onto the beach. This is going to be a good fucking week. Well, damn, it's been such an awesome week here. I'm really loving Goa. Almost a perfect finish line for this journey, but it's kind of the exact community I was looking for, you know? So laid back, lots of hippie chill vibes, lots of beautiful little cafes everywhere, you know? So many little side roads with, with 10 different beautiful spaces just tucked away. Lots of time just chilling out on the beach, spending it with mates, and above all, just music. Everywhere you go, there's always music. Lots of chanting together and some music circles, you know. Krishna Hare Krishna Thank you. 
Thank you.